okay? Where did you go? Sitter called. AJ had a nightmare. Uh, thank God he wasn't here for the real thing. What exactly happened? JR, it was crazy. Caleb was making the speech and then David walked in. Well, he more like stumbled in and then bam, he collapsed right in front of us. Are you happy now? Me? What did I do? You just couldn't let it go. You kept pushing. Lies of this press all over the place. Angie, I... You really... You can't see. Oh. Baby. So sorry. Nice work. She just kept pushing. About you having motive to go after Hayward. I'm trying to help you, baby. And... I'm sorry, I just made things worse. David's gone. Are you sure? This is David we're talking about. I was right there when they rolled him away, Kendall. It was awful. I swear to God, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't remember. I don't remember any of it. Just tell me you're okay. You have to be okay. I am so sorry. I'm so sorry. supposed to be with Trevor. Uh, um, I gave him his kisses and then I asked the sitter to stay longer. I just needed to be with you. This is tough for you. But I don't know why. It's David. David, I mean, he has caused so much pain. I just... I never thought it would really be over. Well, it is over. Come here. It's over. Whoa, whoa, what are you doing? Turning on the TV. No, you're not. No. No. What? No. 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 What? <laughs> Don't you want to know what's going on in the world? No. My world <laughs> is right here in paradise. <laughs> With my beautiful wife, Emma, tucked in bed in the next room, our world is perfect. Mm. You feel that? Of course I do. This is everything I have ever wanted. I'm married to a wonderful man who loves me and loves my daughter. I do, and I do. When I think about that little girl sleeping in that room and what, what I've put her through, I mean, given her reason to be ashamed of me, or, or if I've let her down, that I That little think... girl in there, Amy, <sighs> adores you. And you will never let her down again. No, I won't. Hey! What? What's the matter? I saw something on TV. It scared me. Oh. Okay, well, come on. Tell me about it. You're gonna be fine. Just tell the police what you saw. They're not gonna give you any trouble. Did you just hear that? I still think it's a bad idea. 
But we saw David and Ryan fighting Asher. No, we saw them arguing, Colby. No punches, no headlocks. For all we know, they ended up hugging it out. No, no, that definitely did not happen. Just saying. We spoil everything to the cops. It might just be making a big deal over nothing. Stop beating yourself up. Look, it was it was bound to come out eventually. Oh, baby, you still had time to break the news on your own terms. Now nah, I just blew it all to hell. I just... Jesse, listen, we will deal with it. But a man is dead, and right now, that is your top priority. You are my priority. Always. Any given moment, her condition could become permanent. Do you have any idea how terrified she is right now? It's horrible. I'm so sorry. Yeah, well, you're not sorry enough. Because if you hadn't been pushing at Jesse like that, if you hadn't been pounding on him, he never would have said anything. Now, on top of everything else, she could lose her job. It's horrible. Again, I, I'm just not seeing where this is my fault. <laughs> it's your fault, Liza, because you did what you always do, what you never stop doing. You push and you push and you never let up. Mm. Well, excuse me for doing my job. <laughs> doing your job? Are you kidding? Seriously? Angela Hubbard, a murderer, you, you think? Okay, you know what? It is no secret that Angie and David had issues. Don't give me a break. It's no secret that David had issues with everybody in this entire town, and you know that. And all of a sudden, it doesn't seem to matter because of your new job. Congratulations. Mm. God, what happened to you? What happened? Huh. It's a woman I couldn't get enough of. The mm. woman that used to make me laugh until I couldn't stop. Wow. I guess life just stopped being so funny after a while. I was patrolling the hotel, found a room banged up. Did you ask the front desk whose it is? David Hayward's. I'm sorry. For what? I mean, I, I, whatever, whatever happened, whatever went down, you gotta know that I, I never meant to... No, I... listen to me, Ryan. There was no proof at all that, that you're responsible. I am. What? We fought. David was so angry, I never should have let him out of my sight. Greenlee, I think you need to sit down. Why does everyone keep saying that to me? And you, you and me, from all we know, you have a concussion. You need to take it easy. No, 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 what I need to do is I need to figure out what is going on here. What, will you please just help me fit, fill in the blanks, okay? I, I, I remember I went to Liza's office to try and get the evidence, the blackmail evidence that she had over you, and she walked in and, and she caught me. And I tried to get her to turn on David. She wouldn't. And that's the last thing that you remember? Well, then what? Greenlee. I called you at Liza's and I told you to stop. Stop what? Everything. I told you that I was going to stay with David. You don't remember that? I do remember that. I mean, it's hazy, but I, I do. But I knew you were lying. I mean, why would you stay with him? He knew. He figured out that we were working together, and he threatened you. So I lied to get you to back off, but then you came and found me. And you, you wouldn't tell me the truth. Okay, that's when the two of you had it out. We argued. We, 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 we argued. I got, I got pieces of that. Then what happened after that? You took off. Answers? You said you were going to find answers. That's the last time anyone saw you before you... Well, that, that, that doesn't mean that Kendall. you... Did. No, but Ryan, it doesn't mean Kendall, that you I did I was it. in David's room. I was in David's room. I was angry. I was sure he was about to turn over the evidence on Greenlee. Practically everyone at that party hated David. But not everybody in the party looks like this. Okay, so we, we, can, we can just sit around and we, and we can ignore the obvious? But that's not really going to get us anywhere, is it? I killed him. How dare you make me feel like I'm... What? Make you feel what? Heartless? <sighs> Dad, he was a human being. And believe it or not, he was my friend. And if it was your friend, I'll forget about it. 
Yo, he you pull out all friend. the stops. He wasn't my friend. You wouldn't David stop until it was, was David. Justice. Okay, oh, so what's your point? Because it's David, I'm supposed to just look the other way? It's not how it works, Tad. And you know that's not how I work. <clears throat> well, that was intense. Yeah, you think? There goes our new DA. She is. This turns into a murder investigation. She's the one that's going to prosecute. Well, it's a nice way to ease into things. Mm. How's Marissa? I called her. She didn't answer. I don't think she wants to talk to me. You know, she's better off without it. We all are. Oh, damn it. What is it? What's going on? There's a reporter over there. She keeps looking over here. Now she's making a phone call. What do you want to bet it's not about Hayward's murder? I'm getting you out of here. No, Jesse. Tad. We... Thaddeus. Do me a favor. Can you drive Angela home? Look, I, I don't need somebody. to go home. I'm fine right Angela, here. I have made things hard enough for you tonight. Okay, please, just go go with Tad. Fine. Okay, come on, honey. Mm -hmm. Chariot awaits. Hey, who knows? By the time, by the time I get back, your sight might be back, huh? Maybe. Okay. Thanks, man. Yeah. I'm gonna tell them what we saw. Keeping it quiet, it it doesn't feel right. Yeah, yeah, okay. You're right. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go grab my jacket. I think we're looking at our crime scene. Seal it off. Dr. Martin. Hey, Cliff. My name is uh, Cliff Brown. Is the medical examiner. You're here to do the autopsy. Is there anything I should know before I get started? Well, David's wounds suggest he was in a violent altercation. Uh, it's probable, but not certain, that he died of a blunt force trauma to the head. I'd imagine this can't have you too upset. Everyone knew your history with Hayward. History or no history, no one deserves to die like that. No one. Why were you watching the news in the first place, my sweetheart? I didn't mean to. Okay, so tell me, what is it that scared you? Something happened at home. The news was about Pine Valley? There are sirens and flashing lights outside the club. Well, sweetie, I'm sure whatever it is, it has nothing to do with anybody we know. I want to talk to Daddy. 